Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back once again, back to you on February 6, 2019. This is a Wednesday, and a very nice Wednesday at that. Going to be another warm one today. We're looking at uh, temperatures getting into the 50s. And what's what was the top temperature, did they say, for today? The high temp. 70. It's going to get up to 70 today? Oh, man, you heard it here. 70 degrees. It got to 70 yesterday. I didn't know it was going to get quite that warm today. 65 tomorrow. 65? 75 tomorrow. 75 tomorrow. So 70 degrees today, 75 tomorrow. For my dad, the weatherman back there, because he always listens to the weather earlier than I do. He gets up around 6. Guys are probably wondering, Matt, what are you doing up at quarter to 8 in the morning? Well... Dad and I are going to make a special trip here in about an hour over to our local Lidl because they are having a deal on filet mignon. If you don't know what a filet mignon is, you can look it up. It is a very, very tender, mostly the most tender piece of steak on the cow. And it's really funny the way Lidl works because the way they have their sales, it could be anything any week. This week it's a steak that's on sale, the filet mignon. Next week, it could be something like the maple syrup I got for $3.99. A week after that, it might be peanut butter that they have on sale. And we're actually getting the weekly flyers from Lidl in the mail. That's how I really knew about this deal. Um, and also, Dad kind of mentioned that he heard they were going to have filet mignons on sale. But for whatever reason, they're not sending me the Aldi flyer anymore, only the Lidl one. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to see... Um, why our mail is not having that anymore, but that's okay because we can just run over to Aldi and pick up a flyer from their vestibule. But other than that, I got a few other goodies. I'm going to bring you guys to Lidl, show you exactly what the display looks like. Hopefully you guys, if you have a Lidl where you are, can also pick up a few of these. And I can't wait because I think the last time I had a filet mignon was probably about 20 years ago when we lived in New York. I remember we used to get it all the time for Christmas up in... Um, Connecticut, because we lived on the New York-Connecticut border, we went to a store called Stu Leonard's. You guys on the north, uh, northeast probably know what I'm talking about. And um, they would always have filet mignon specials right around Christmas time. So generally we would go there around the 9th or 10th of December. We would pick up our Christmas tree and we would pick up some filet mignon and then we'd save it for Christmas dinner. So can't wait to get that, and I'll try to show you guys uh, what the steaks look like me. You know what? Maybe I'll even do a food review when we actually cook it. So let me go ahead and pause the vlog. I actually just finished my breakfast. I had the typical oatmeal and a banana, half a banana, I should say. I got my napkin in there. But I'm doing really well. I'm going to eat that today, and then we're going with Mom and her friend to Route 58 Deli. Now, you guys have heard me talk about that. Well, I'm going to get some footage there today, so you guys are going to be able to see exactly the kind of food that they have. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, so Dad and I are getting ready to head out to Lidl, and I just thought I'd show you what it actually is. Uh, the price it says here is $6.99, but I swear in the original flyer it said $5.99, but unfortunately we can't find it. I think Mom must have threw the flyer out, so... It's six ninety nine for what is it an eight ounce fillet? That's still a really good deal. Now here is the reason that both Dad and I are going. You can see it says limit four per customer. The two of us going that means we can get eight of them if we really want, and I think Dad does because he hasn't had filet mignon in quite a while. When do you think the last time you had it was? I don't know. I've been eating sirloin and a filet mignon. Oh, 10 years, maybe. I think it's the same one. I think even longer. I can remember the last time having filet mignon, I think, was either in New York, right before we moved down here, yeah. or we may have gotten it once when we were here, but I think it was when we were in the apartment. Yeah, I think I got a couple of restaurants. Yeah, but I'm talking about me specifically. Yeah. You, you've only had it, you've had it maybe 10 years ago, and you miss it, don't you? Sure, yeah, it is really good. Like the most tender, juicy piece of beef you will ever have. Oh, yeah. All right, Tuber. So we're going to head out to Lidl. Um, hopefully they'll have it. You know, it's only they've only been open for about a half an hour now, so there should be no reason that they wouldn't have it, though I've seen weirder things happen. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a come on to get you in the store. So let's see if that's the case or they indeed actually have this delicious filet mignon. Right. Talk to you guys in a bit. 
All right, tubers, down there, heading out to Toledo. We got stuck behind this uh, school bus, and unfortunately, it took a long time because it was one of those handicapped buses. So, I guess the student was having trouble getting on the bus. But we're heading out there now. It's about 8:30. I'm really dying to see if they actually still have the filet mignon because it wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past a restaurant or something to go there, knowing about this deal and just like totally buy them out of every filet mignon that they have. It's happened before, believe me. It happened when we tried to get scallops the first time, and there was something else that was a super special. Oh, it was the maple syrup. I went in like uh, a day after the sale, and there was nothing on the shelf. But luckily, I talked to the stock manager, and he said, oh, I think we may have a box or two left in the back. And sure enough, he came out with a box of the maple syrup. So that's one thing you need to do if you're going to Lidl, Aldi, for one of these quote-unquote super sales, always ask because they may still have more of the product in the back room. It, it happens all the time because when you look at these kind of stores, they have a limited uh, amount of workers. Usually, Aldi or Lidl, at any given time, may only have two or three people working there. One person to stock, one person to do the register, and maybe a manager. Sometimes it's only two, so a lot of times things pile up stock piles up in the back and they don't actually have time to get it out until somebody asks for it so ask and ye shall receive all right tubers i'm gonna go ahead and pause the vlog pick it up again when we get to lidl and uh let's see if we get some delicious filet mignon talk to you on the flip side all right tubers pulling up to lidl over here and i think our chances are good because if you look at it the uh, parking lot is really uh sparsely uh occupied so i don't think they're a lot of people here right now at all all right let's go in and see if they have all it. right in the parking lot and let me go grab a cart that way we can get in there as quickly as possible really nice out I honestly am so shocked that I can't even believe that this is uh, February sitting at about 55 degrees and I'm going without a jacket it's absolutely amazing right now Dad's slowly bringing up the rear here. And let's see, yep. Same flyer that we have at home. So I'll go ahead and bring one of those and let's see if we can find it. All right, and I think I see it right here. There you go, guys. 100% grass-fed filet mignon. Normally $9.99 on sale for $6.99. So how many of these are we going to get? Eight? Oh, and they're not even frozen. Look how good they look. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to try to pick them up. Seven. I got three there. And eight. And as you guys can see, this is Steakhouse Naturals 100% grass fed Angus beef filet mignon. What do you think? Do those look really good? Like the ones you remember getting when we used to get them from Stu Leonard's? That's awesome. All right, so we got what we came here for. What else do we need to pick up? Bananas and milk. Bananas and milk. Okay, you guys don't need to see that, but just to show you, if you've ever never been to a Lidl, very similar to Aldi, but this is all of their special buys here. So you got a lot wider selection here. All right, Dad, what are you looking at? Two, not a good deal. No? You don't need them, or? No, they're missing the part of the side of it. Oh. You gotta read the side of it. Sometimes you read the wrong one. Yeah, just, I mean, it's not what you need. Yeah. But they're awesome. And those are the ones that I think ratchet inside. Well, these would be good if you had Japanese color. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, so for $7.99, these are Power Fix. And I like the ones that have the ratcheting heads on it. It makes it a lot easier to turn, especially when you're doing like oil changes. That's the problem I had with the ones that he gave me last time. I had very little room to work. With these, you don't need a lot of room because they got the ratchet head built right in. But they got a lot of different tools here. They got a power sander. They got, I saw this one listed for $25. No, this one's 20 bucks. A pneumatic ratchet set. That's pretty cool. Was this air compressor? Yeah. How much is that? hundred bucks I mean you can't beat their prices here at all what are you seeing now a combination connector for air hose for four bucks yeah what do they got on there 
I got a little bit of everything, all the different fittings you'd need. I mean, the quality of their Parkside stuff is decent. I had one of their cordless screwdrivers for a while, and that lasted. Though I wear them out really quick working on computers. I gotta buy a new one, like, every year. That is so cool. They usually actually have more tools than this. This is kind of a light week for them, tool-wise. Flip disc set. Awesome. All right, Tubers, I'm going to let Dad do some more shopping because, let's face it, he doesn't usually do it all that often. And I'll talk to you guys more when we get back home. All right, everybody, so I'm here in Best Thrift. Found a couple of goodies. Check this out. This is an HP Pavilion. Let's see if I can get a model here. It is 8590C, Pentium 3, almost identical to my Windows 2000 gaming system. Getting this for $9.99, so 10 bucks. But it's also 25% off a purchase of $30 or more today, so that'll be awesome. And I talked to the guy in the back, and he said he knows for a fact this is complete. So this definitely has a hard drive and memory. The only issue I noticed so far with this is the clips that hold the top on are broken, but I can fix that. That's no big deal. Also getting a bunch of cables here, nothing too super special. And then I picked up this particular uh, HP computer. This is a uh, HP Pavilion. Don't know the model, except that it has a Pentium processor in there. Again, $10. There's sensing a theme here. I think all their desktops are $10. You can see that there is a lot of dirt in here, but for the price, I'm not too worried about it. And you can see it says, do not open, and they're taping these shut. There is a reason for that. In the past, they've had issues with people opening these computers up and basically taking out whatever they wanted. So that's actually a really good idea. I'm glad to see that they're doing that. Well, I have a little bit more shopping to do here. I want to check out and see if I can find any more cables. Uh, you can see it says here coax cables and extension cables, but they do have some DVI cables mixed in, like this one right here. And you got to watch it. They're all over the place price-wise. Like this one is $3.99, but I found some that were $0.99, cents, some that were $1.99. So I'm trying to weed, weed those out. I guess they have different people pricing them. And then, of course, they have a substantial collection of cassettes over here. Nothing blank, though. I'm really not buying any pre-recorded tapes anymore just because I have so many of them at home. But for Cassette Master and a few of you other ones out there that love to see them, here they are. Let's see what we got. We got 101 strings. See if we got anything else interesting here. McBride and the Ride. Never heard of that one before. Jason Alvarez, Legend of the Band. The Ray Conniff Singers. Wayne Newton, A Very Merry Christmas. Definitely an eclectic collection of... Uh, Many, many different tapes here. But I'm going to go ahead and do some more shopping. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, everybody. So what do you guys think? Mom wants to get this chair for Uncle Chris, maybe. No, it's too much. I like the one I got last time. It was $8. See if you guys can see it. The nice floral it's pattern. Beautiful. How much? How much do they want? 50 more 50 50 If it was 25 yeah. I'd think of it. 50 is a little much. You could get yeah. this for like 20 25 at a garage yeah. sale, I think, yeah. and I think you'd so be too. ready to go. Yeah. But I have to admit, it is pretty comfortable, albeit it's it's, nice. uh, it's kind of dated. Oh, 90s, I, I so, would hey. say. Does it really matter? All his furniture's dated. <laughs> no, not really. Well, I haven't had any other success. This is only the second thrift store we've went to so far. So hopefully I find something at the next one. I'll keep you guys up to date. And I'll catch you when I wake up from my nap. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, here we go into the Route 58 Delicatessen with their famous cheesecake. I love all the writing here. And they got some really good old-style deli selections here. Check the roast beef out there. We're going to head in and eat. I don't think I'll be able to film here because it's usually too loud, but if I can, I'll get a snapshot of what we're getting. All right, catch you guys inside. Uh-oh, what ha tell them what happened to your chair. It, it was wobbling and ready to fall apart. It scared me Yeah, it was like shaking and shaking. I'll be on the floor in two seconds. All right, Mom, so what are you going to get? I'm, you know what I'm getting, my pastrami The sandwich, pastrami. And I think the red potato salad would like a lot. That was... 
That was really, really good. I, Mary's kind of eh. She's not sure what she wants yet, right? I'm just looking. That's good. That's good. And I know I showed you guys this before, but they have the best sandwiches here. Rare roast beef. But I think I'm going to go with the burger again this time. Does it come with the side or was it extra? I don't no, I think it comes with the side. Oh, my God. They have so much stuff. So we're going to decide what we want to eat, and then I'll give you a snapshot of what we choose. All right, everybody. So here's the matzo ball soup. I got the bowl, which gives you two balls. Two balls. Yep. Yes, I get it. Okay, okay. We're and you dancing. pour the broth over the matzo ball, and then you cut a little piece off. I cut a little no, tiny fun. piece he off, and then <laughs> consume. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I don't uh, like it. Do you like my tomatoes? I know. Mom's not Do crazy about it, but I like it. All right, everybody. Check out the different signs they got up here. All the different diners. What we say? Warning. We only serve golden brown crinkle cut fries, so don't ask them to do it a specific way. If there was a Jewish food delivery service, it would be called Slub Hub. I love that. I love that one. That one. And I think I see your um, potato salad sitting up there. That is so cool. Oh, there we go. Did you read that Yeah, one? your yeah. doctor may tell you to stay yeah. away from Route 58 Deli, but that's just because he wants a better table. <laughs> Marcus Welby. That is so oh, cool. I, love, I used to love that show. Remember the book, Dr. Welby? That was it's so just fun. awesome to look at the different signs up here. Well, you know, you guys will be proud of me. I stuck with something sugarless for a drink. Good old Lipton hot tea, which is a good option, right, Mary? No sugar. No sugar. That's it. Yeah. Uh-oh, you got a Coke? Diet Coke. Okay, she got Diet Coke. That's good. That's okay, though. That's okay, because it doesn't raise the blood sugar. I'm trying to read that. Jeff something or other by appointment. In case you haven't noticed, Jeff cannot talk. And slice at the same time, so keep moving and enjoy the meal. The staff at Route 58. Well, you know what? I'm the same way. I, tell them how bad I am with multitasking. Wow, bad. I can't do, like, in the mor especially in the morning. If I'm eating and you ask me a question and expect me to remember something, forget it. It'll go in one ear and out the other. Yep, yep. I mean, that's just the way I am, unfortunately. Yes, exactly. That's it. Until I I've had at least two cups. Selective hearing. <laughs> no, I, I believe no, me, it's no, not. It's, it's it just is. that I need it the really two cups is. of coffee to get going. Bad. It's that bad. Yeah. Unbelievable. But that maybe that's just me. Mom's good in the morning. If I ask her something in the morning, or I tell her something oh, I, I need done, she'll fine. remember. Oh, I'm fine. I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't have to wake me up. Yeah, that's true. I'm you kind of well get that caffeine fix is what you really need. Oh, I think our... I do too. too. I'm me. telling you. I think our food's coming, so I am definitely going to put this down and I'm going to enjoy oh, a really good yeah. meal here at Route 58. Wow. Talk to you guys in a few. All right, show them. Yeah, Mary's going to let me so taste good. it because I wanted to taste it to see if I liked it. All right, let everybody know wine. what the pasta salad tastes like. Mm. Very good. That's cool. I'm going to take better a bite of the potato than salad. Than one of no the one of no is very I can't, I can't get it. Here, help me scoop it in. There we go. All right, here we go. Close up. This is really good. Go ahead, try a bunch. Oh, come on. Try a bunch. That is so creamy. Try a bunch. Go ahead, have another bite. Have another bite. I'm going to get another, get another taste there in a minute. Oh, my gosh. We got this last time. It's good. It's bad. It is? Well, check this out. That's mine right here. Woo! Look at those fries, that looks so good. I'll probably give mom the pickle. I don't need the vegetables today. I'm telling you. And mom's still waiting for hers. Here, mom can have the pickle. Look at that. He's giving me the pickle. I didn't even have my sandwich yet. Oh, there you go. Look, oh my gosh, that is cooked perfectly. Look at all the mushrooms and cheese on that. And even cut in half for me. That is awesome. I'm going to take a bite of this. All right, so as good as the burger is, I'm telling you, their fries are perfect. Golden, crisp, done to perfection. Take a bite. Oh, they're, they're just uh, delicious. They're take a look inside. Okay. Oh, look at that. Dark, dark one. Let's say. Mom's trying it, too. Oh, so good. 
Oh my God, we're hot. All right, tubers, I can't eat and talk, so let me go ahead and finish this food.